About a week ago, um, Ms. Sean came and she said, hey, uh, let's do a segment on, you know, some of the rumors and controversies that's been going around concerning Josh. And um, you know, that's what we're here to do right now. So um, I guess to start it off, um, you know, rumor has it that this is, you know, Lake Clifton is Josh's third school. And, um, you know, let's, let's talk about that a little bit. Well, this is his third school. He uh, started off at John Carroll, which was his first year of high school. And our plan was to only be at John Curl for that one year and then was to transfer to Montrose. And that was just basically to get Josh acclimated to Catholic, try to get him ready for college. You know, Coach Martin, who's the head coach out there, did a great job with Josh. He taught Josh a lot of fundamental basketball skills. And that was something Josh was lacking. Um, worked out on his footwork, ball handling, everything to improve him as a player. So John Curl did exactly what John Curl was supposed to do. Um, we looked at Montrose, you know, we felt like Montrose was a very good fit for him to be playing with his cousin Isaiah Armwood and possibly playing with Terrell Vincent. Um, toured the school, liked the school, but transportation was an issue, so we had to pass on from, from the Montrose situation. Somebody recommended the Matha. We called Mike Jones. We sat down. We talked to Mike Jones. Mike Jones was a great guy. He explained us everything with the, with the expectations was going to be on Josh. Um, and the transportation situation worked out with Najee Hibbert transferring as well. So they were able to go to school together. Najee father picked them up, took them to the train station their first year. I picked them up from the train station and brought them home. Um, same thing, Mike Jones was a great coach. He taught Josh a lot. It was a big stage for him. He got acclimated with the schoolwork. Um, did not realize that the transition of getting up that time of morning was going to be that hard to have practice and debate and maintain schoolwork was going to take its toll on Josh. Um, needless to say, his last year there wasn't no expelment, ex expulsion or anything like that. He got put on academic probation. It took up with him. Um, Najee didn't have a first period class. Najee was driving. Josh did. Josh ended up being late a lot of times. So when he uh, was going to be reinstated back for violating the team policy, which was not calling the coach when he was absent due to his illness. He was put on academic probation. You know, Najee was going to graduate. I didn't have transportation to get Josh to school, so we felt the best thing to do at that time was to bring him closer to school that where transportation would not have been an issue. Right. That's for him being at Lake Clifton with another great coach, Coach Tree, Herman Harid. I think discipline is going to do very well for Josh because any kid at that age definitely needs discipline. Right. He's going to get the discipline at the next level. Right. So his might as well start now. And that's that's that actually is a good point because I mean just the fact of it being closer because I honestly I didn't know that Josh was from Baltimore in the beginning and I think we talked about that in the first um, episode of the diary. I, I, we I asked the question because I didn't know and. I'm sure a lot of other people didn't know, unless you read up on them, um, and, and in particular, you still might not know because sometimes when kids are from around the area, just to make it easier for people to know, they'll say a big city. Yeah. So um, we thank you for clearing that up. Um, that's just one of many things that is said, and 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 uh, you know, we do now know what happened and, and why he's at Lake, and. Um, it definitely is a good thing the fact that he had other cousins that went to Lake and they set a name for themselves and for the and for Lake Clifton itself. So um, people gotta realize, man, there's a reason and a season for things that come across in your life. Right. And from each one of those schools, Josh learned and got better not only as a basketball player but as a human being. Right. You know, the sacrifice of traveling for two years or two and a half years of high school made him tougher made him mentally tough to say, you know what, I can achieve goals because I did this. Right. You know, um, 
and that's a lot of the stuff that, that people didn't understand. It wasn't that any any non-trusting issues, any beefing going on with him and the coach. It was it took its toll on. Him. Right. You know, I mean, and, and it would any kid. And if Najee wouldn't have been graduating this year, being his freshman his freshman year at Texas A&M, if he would have had another year, Josh wouldn't have left. I wouldn't have had no reason to pull him out of the map. Right. You know, Mike, like I said, Mike Jones and Tony Martin were all great coaches, and, you know, they served their purpose for the time that, that he was there with them. And right. I appreciate everything those coaches did.